Yes. I just wanted to reach out and touch base with you. I did receive the documents you sent over and we'll be working on your pre-approval letter here in just a few moments. But I did want to touch base with you really to try to keep you from getting frustrated later on in the process. So you sent over the bank statements. Actually, you had sent over the screenshots, right? It showed your name and it showed how much money that you've got in that account. Absolutely. So that gives me all the confidence that I need to know that you have that money that you're going to need for closing. And so with that, along with the other documents, is enough information for me to provide you with an approval letter so that you can get your offer accepted. However, I did want to touch base with you regarding the bank statements with that screenshot. When the time comes for us to actually get the purchase agreement and start processing your file and submit the file to the underwriter so that they can give us the actual approval and get us our clear to close, before we could get that clear to close, we would have to have the actual bank statements where on the front end for the pre-approval, the snapshot or the screenshot is, is fine. Agency guidelines, FHA, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, all of the agencies that, that we work with, the final package, the file is going to have to have the actual bank statements. It gives you plenty of time to get that taken care of before we get to that point and uh, get that to the underwriter. But right now, you don't have to worry about that before we give you the approval letter so you can go look for your home. I'll get you that approval letter over here in about 15 minutes and uh, good luck with your home search. Thanks.